everyone. Thanks for tuning into Sims Workshop. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. So, today we are going to be reviewing Ariadne by Jennifer Saint. Um, I have to say, I absolutely love this book. I thought this book was, it was mesmerizing, it was hypnotic, it was just everything I wanted and expect in a Greek mythology retelling because it takes place during the story of Ariadne, and I love the way it starts, first of all, as well. This is the story of a righteous man. And you think she's talking about um, Theseus, and she's not. She's talking about her father. Um, <laughs> I mean, her father is awful. He's awful, awful. The fact that he sacrifices people to the Minotaur just shows you how awful he is. And the opening prologue, shows you how he treats women and how he views women and how he's just honestly an awful person. So you're getting a little bit of insight into Ariadne already through the prologue. And I, I'm a huge Greek mythory, mythory, Greek mythology <laughs> buff. I, I love Greek mythology. I grew up on the stories of Greek mythology. My mom studied it when, at college. It was um, a gen ed for her. So I love these stories, you know, with the Minotaur and then Phaedra, and I love Greek mythology. So the fact that, you know, Daedalus and Icarus, it's just all of these are tied to Ariadne in a way that, you know, when you read the stories separately, you don't really see how they are interconnected. Um, how Daedalus is the one that built the labyrinth for the Minotaur, and it, it's like you forget these things, and then when you're reading it compiled together, and the way that Saint has layered the mythologies together to tie them up very neatly and very perfectly, it's just brilliant. Her prose is brilliant. The birth of the Minotaur, it's just kind of heart-wrenching, um, just to see what led up to that event, and it's just it's very emotive, this story. It's very hypnotic in the way we're following Ariadne as she recounts the birth of the Minotaur. And it's not just a Minotaur to her. This is her little brother as well. So she gets to see her little brother grow into the monster it becomes. And then she even feels some remorse when it is dead. But it's very complex, her emotions. They're very complex. I loved how it evolved. I, I love that we do eventually as well get Phaedra's perspective in the story because she is very integral. Her story matters as much as Ariadne's and then you have the relationship between Ariadne and her sister. You, ha you see how they are such different women and how they have grown differently. How they are both mothers but they are different. One is more caring, more one is more detached. You're seeing how their life has been affected by everything their father did and everything all the men in their lives have done to them. It's so it's so powerful to see the story come alive and to just see everything layered together and it's just a wonderful Greek mythology retelling. And then Ariadne's relationship, not just with her sister, but also, you know, with her mother and future husband Dionysus. Absolutely loved it. I loved Dionysus as a character as well in the story. You know, you think of him as just like the party god because, you know, all the wine. It's just like, no, there's a lot more depth to it. And I like the level of depth that Saint has put into the storytelling. It's just, it makes it really masterful. I, I I'm just so excited to read more of her books. She's coming out with Hera later this year. Oh, I am so excited for that one, but I still have to read um, Electra and Atalanta. So hopefully I can get to those before Hera, which comes out in August, I believe, around the time of my birthday. Woo! Um, a queen for a queen. <laughs> but her storytelling is powerful, it's emotive, it's layered, it's so rich, you know, the way she combines 
all these little mythologies together and you get to see the web of how they are interconnected. Because if you know Greek mythology, you know everything is interconnected, but you're actually really seeing how these separate myths are interconnected and how they do tie back to Ariadne. And just the characterization is just phenomenal. Her prose is hypnotic, just the structure of it. It feels like I'm reading something out of Edith Hamilton's mythology. I mean, that's how it feels to me. And I love Edith Hamilton's mythology. I love it. I just, one of my favorites. But that's how the prose feels to me. And I think that that's just remarkable and incredible. So this book gets, um, you know, I don't think I give it five stars. And now I'm thinking back to myself, why didn't I give this a five stars? It's a five star book for sure. I'm going to change my review on Goodreads. It's a five star book. It's absolutely phenomenal. It's breathtaking. It's just wonderful. It's powerful. I just absolutely love this book and I'm so excited to read more from her. If you know, if you love Greek mythology, this is definitely going to be um, the book for you. So on that note, if you do want to check out the book, I will of course include links in the description below on where you can purchase it if you so desire. On that note, thank you again for tuning in. Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share with all your book-loving friends. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and as always, happy reading.